<laughs> okay. Hey, how you doing? Good. How's it going? Good. <clears throat> so I read briefly through your um session info, but go ahead, talk to me kind of about like your goals or like what kind of things you're looking for out of coaching. Yeah. So uh, uh, so I'm a gin main. I've been playing gin for a few years now, and uh you know, like I mentioned in the description there, I mainly play with like a small group of people at work. And then uh, one of my one of my closer friends, he's a big Tekken player, he's been playing for a lot longer than I have. And so mm -hmm. he and I play pretty consistently. Mm -hmm. And uh, so so through that, I've, you know, and like I watch a lot of Tekken content, stuff like that on YouTube. And so I've just been kind of trying to work on fundamentals and trying to improve. I don't necessarily feel like I'm I'm like hard stuck or anything now. I uh, I can't remember what my rank is. I think I'm in, in the oranges. Uh, I, I can't remember what the colors are. Um, but, you know, I'm just kind of interested in uh, seeing, you know, kind of getting getting another perspective on, like, things that I need to work on and just kind of putting together a personal plan for, like, what should I, what should I work on next? Like, some of the things that I've been working on recently uh, have been, like, sides, kind of integrating sidestepping into my game plan. Okay. Um, Kind of one of the other things that I think about is that, you know, if if you ask me like what my game plan is as Jin, I feel like I don't have a really good answer for that. Okay. You know, Jin like Jin in particular is like a pretty flexible character, but if, yeah. if asked to describe that, like I'm I'm not really sure. Like obviously some of that is adjusting to different players and to different matchups. Um, but uh, you know, maybe kind of developing a clearer game plan or or having like a good way to think about how i should think about a game yeah. plan yeah no i think that's a great too. question i think that's good and you know in this whole conversation you haven't really mentioned rank or anything so if you're doing like skill ba skill based development but we're basically my idea of that is is we'll basically throw you into ranked over and over with different like specific goals and then mm -hmm. you will have targets like kind of of like proficiency and then when you build it that way it'll end up being really um really uh robust and kind of reliable like fundamentally yeah up. um so that's cool yeah, that makes um sense. yeah i encourage you to think about matchups uh piece by piece and then you'll get a better picture of Jin throughout all of that and a better idea of what your game plan should be things like that yeah i think um, that's definitely a, a weakness of mine is like knowing matchups with other characters because i play the same character like against the same character or set of characters so frequently mm -hmm. so i know the armor king matchup like inside and out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but you know frequently um you know in ranked mode like i'll just get wrecked by characters that i, I don't see very often for or, sure or haven't like played enough to kind of understand mm -hmm. um but yeah i think i'm i'm serio rank right now okay cool so i made an open lobby that has no um like restriction it's named pumpkin go ahead join it if you oh, can cool. okay i will be right in there um yeah so we can just start playing a bit i can get a feel for what you're looking for and what you can do um and then yeah we'll go from there that's good yeah i mean you know something that i always have to work on is execution uh mm -hmm. you know like i can do electrics somewhat consistently but like i drop them a lot mm -hmm. i get a lot of dick punches instead stuff like that are you on uh, pad so or sort of, stick uh i'm on a hitbox actually okay okay so let's see do i just want to search for session and then search session any region okay. any language and then cool see if you can find mine Got it. Perfect. Welcome to the King okay. of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Armor King. Yeah, I think execution barriers with combos are definitely like something I've run up against too. I've been trying to kind of work my way up to the tier list of gen combos, and uh, I'm using a, de a decent one now, but it's like it's one that is for me less consistent. Mm -hmm. But I don't think there's I don't think there's, there's no magic trick to that. It's true mm -hmm. of like yeah. I just need to play. Mm -hmm. well, I just need to keep trying. Yeah. yeah. Fight. Two. 
I have a, I have a bad habit of, of ducking a lot, uh, mainly because it serves me well against Armor King. Mm -hmm. Against other matchups, not so much. <laughs> I haven't seen any dick jabs yet, so I feel like the electric's not bad. Yeah, it comes out occasionally. You know, often it's uh, it, it's more like I think something that I really need to work on is is better with punishment. Mm -hmm. So often I'll go with something something easy and quick, like four four two or something like that, yeah, yeah. Uh, rather than like an actual electric with punish, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. or even like a hop kick. Uh, you know, which, like, the range is good enough to it really work. Totally. Yeah, um, that's usually where I start. That's usually where um, I have people start is um, backdash with punishment. Yeah. All the way up to, like, Fujin. And then, even, you can take it even beyond, but I think at that point is when you start learning some other things, too. That's usually my yeah. approach. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm leaving a lot of, a lot of damage on, on the table in that, in that, in that regard. Really bad. I have the frames for four and four there. Mm -hmm.
finally. <laughs> nice, good game. Thanks. And feel free to play uh, play Noctis too. Yeah, I don't sure, know the sure. matchup nearly as well, but I do know I do know it decently. Uh, one of my one of my friends used to play him occasionally. Perfect. Yeah. So I wanted to basically see like what it felt like when you've played something you're kind of like comfortable against. Sure. Um. Yeah. So I feel like yeah, you gotta. Your offense, like, it makes sense, you know? You're looking for, like, Hell Sweep if I'm just kind of blocking. You're looking for um, Back 2-1 as kind of, like, a way to close the space and things like that. Yeah. And I think that's all good. Um, and then you, yeah, you mentioned Whiff Punishment. So, um, basically, since you have access to these playing partners and since you're playing with me, my recommendation is, like, here, you kind of just play and, like, try Welcome and refine your attack, right? Like, what I liked was that... You weren't um, necessarily doing a bunch of things that were like um, just straight up unsafe. You know, there was some down forward one fours, but I clearly wasn't ducking them. So like, you didn't have a reason. Yeah, to stop. yeah, no, that's that's a bad habit of mine too. Like two four and down forward one four, like the yeah. ten frame and twelve frame punish respectively. Mm -hmm. So you you were kind of like uh, aware, like that, um, like like of the risk that exists, but existed. But since I wasn't punishing, it didn't really matter. So my yeah. my thought process the CD was ones as well. Yeah. Which, which I don't I don't use much. I try to use uh, four four three instead, but I was getting them getting them stud down for one. Mm -hmm. Funnily enough. Round yeah. Okay. One. So we'll play this out. I'll keep Fight. looking for stuff. Didn't fail to duck at that time. <laughs> yes, yeah, on the main character, it's easier to <laughs> do the defensive stuff. Not like thinking about the uh, other shit. Yeah, yeah. Two. Fight. I might get it around. Round three. <laughs> Fight. So, as part of just me evaluating, what is on your mind in that set after that game? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I was losing a, losing a ton to to just whiffing and getting whiff punished, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, which I think is, you know, like I'll throw out like an electric or something like that, trying to, you know, like trying to catch my opponent coming in mm -hmm. you know, I sort of like keep out strategy basically yeah, yeah but I'm yeah. also not playing against people who are like cream backdashing right right okay so, so yeah like, so you've identified kind of the like what your default is right and then you've identified something that's like countering it right yeah that's really good so how do you think let's brainstorm together how do you think you would counter somebody who's just backdashing I mean try and get in on them right mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. like I know with Noctis you kind of want to be you don't want to be like at the mid range as much. You want to be like up a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, typically, like typically, I would just be be running in. Yeah, yeah. Because if I keep running away, either my back's to the wall, or more importantly, I'm not um, putting a hitbox on you, right? So if you can get around my keep out, 
with that, if you can get around, like, like find the timing when I'm not keeping you out, then you get, like, a mix-up. That's kind of the advantage. Somebody who's just running away is you have initiative on starting the offense. The difference is you can't whiff and you can't get counter hit. So, against Noctis, that's kind of hard. There, I tried to counter hit you, and you uh, sniped me with the electric. That was another. Okay. KO. That, that board one, right? Mm -hmm. Round two. Is that a high? Yeah. Fight. Okay, that's a that's a that's not a bad idea. What a combo. <laughs> Dang, last minute combo. Nice. This is the right of you. So I'm tempted to just Round like three. try and duck more. Fight. Yeah. Which I feel like is not. Oops, sorry, I opened the chat box. Uh, well, your best is... your best bet is to counter what I am showing you. Right. So ducking is one of them, but oh yeah, that works. So sniping me out of it is one option. Depends on the situation. Ducking it and launching it is another option. Yeah. You had the read. Yeah, so you had one good idea, which was like ducking it, right? Another yeah. thing you do is like uh, obviously going for whiff punish, which is kind of tricky against that move because the recovery is kind of quick. Right. Um, yeah, that's what it seems like. But yeah, so I uh, so what I'm what I'm liking is that you're kind of paying attention to what is killing you and trying to come up with solutions to that, which sounds a little like silly to compliment, but like <laughs> like that's kind of that's a big thing, and like the uh, people in various different areas do and don't do that, right? So um what i yeah, like i yeah. think you know oh, ahead, recognizing it is is one thing uh you know kind of coming up with a plan and using it effect using it if, uh i guess consistently mm -hmm. is hard yeah so i think in terms of planning phase um we want to minimize that because we want to build up your mechanics and have your and to do that your mental load has to be kind of light right mm -hmm. so the biggest thing i would like to see is play like a if somebody's just backdashing, you can you can afford to play a forward four and electric heavy game because they are spending forward movement goes farther than backward movement. So when you are when I'm backdashing and you're advancing into me, you cover more distance more quickly. Right. Um, so depending on your move selection and your spacing, you can feasibly like hit an electric in the time that I'm looking for this. Right. When I'm running away, it depends on your ability to wave dash, depends on your other things like that. But. Yeah, you have kind of initiative. Now, if you come in at the same timing every time, then I can find this, right? Right. Um, down four will also gonna go under it, I believe. So, so you can see right. that because I'm far away, you have to dash in to get your move to avoid whiffing, right? So that creates a situation like a little mind game. Like when you approach, are you gonna put out the hitbox right away, or are you just gonna move instead of committing to something that can be countered? That's right. kind of one dimension of the mind game that comes out. Nice. I like that idea. Yeah, that cool. yeah, I almost got it. Yeah. So it's like yeah, I think stuff. I'm always wary of fight. Of trying to immediately apply something like that mm -hmm. super consistently because then I just expect it to be exploited. You know, yeah. like, all right, I'm going to start ducking. Opponent knows it. I just get, you know, then, then it's like time for mids. Even better is if you see me whiff it right in front of your face, even a back 2 1 is fine as a whiff punish. If I'm doing this and it whiffs, yeah, you want to like whiff confirm it and then yeah. Especially because I'm showing you it consistently, right? So you yeah. want to... Yeah, that works. Mm-hmm. 
Yep, nice. So I'm going to add other moves that will make it a little less obvious, and then it becomes a matter of reading, like, am I in a mode where I feel like I'm panicking and I have to do that, right? Because you're right, that if you always duck by default, it can get ugly really quickly. Right. Is that punchable? No, it's minus nine. It's really dumb. Okay. Oops. It's steppable? Um, you have to walk it to the left, but it's really hard to walk oh, after you just got hit by it. Yeah. Usually what you do is you block it, and then you have a plus nine situation for you. Right. The downside is there's extensions, right? So, but this one's know, minus okay. 14. Yeah, even that is like a small whiff punish. It's totally fine. And sometimes you can't get a proper whiff punish, but you can get like whiff pressure, where because your opponent knows they whiff, they're likely to hesitate. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what I think will work out long term as we keep going on is have you play a bunch of ranked? And in those ranked matches, your goal is going to be like backdash whip punishment. That's going to be your primary okay. objective. Um, block punishment, of course, as well. That's like yeah. indispensable. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. sort of like the, the eternal battle, right? Is like learning, like lear learning the matchups and knowing what to block punish with, like for any given character. Yeah, so I always try to divide it into two things. So I do like launch and jab punish, right? Mm -hmm. And I started out with those buckets and then filled in the rest as I continued to gain experience. The idea it, to me is you develop the muscle memory of getting the punish. That does two things. One, you're always looking for the punish. And two, your opponent knows they can't get away with three moves. Yeah. Um, so usually I will, like, if I see a mid-string, like when you asked, like, is that safe? I thought that was a good question mm -hmm. because most mid-mid-strings in this game are, like, you know, unsafe. So it's right. like you can kind of extrapolate, like, hey, you know, maybe I can find a punish here. Um, Noctis is just safe. It's really dumb. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I had gotten, gotten what looked like a punish early on, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but then didn't get it again. And I was thinking, like, I, I was pretty sure my timing was... Was Same, soon yeah. enough. And yeah. So, yeah. So, right. So things I like noticing what you're dying to is really good. Noticing, um, kind of what I'm looking for is good. And then you came up with a solution. It was just kind of like, should I do it? Should I not? Um, yeah. my recommendation is always like, try it and like, see what happens. You like have conversations right. with people, you know, comparing. Um, yeah. So primary first thing is first thing, uh, ranked backdash with punish default. Um, yeah, so you're the, like in terms of like I was gonna ask that earlier, uh, like how to how to sort of practice that, but you'd suggest like just jump into ranked and just focus on on that. Yeah, so I think you can do some warm ups. So I'll show you I'll show you what this looks like. Um, what how I imagine working on it, for example. Um, on my screen. See this? Perfect. One second. Yeah, because like you know, in in training mode, like of course I can land stuff in training mode. It's not a big deal. But it's obviously different. In there. Yeah. So let's say you play against Armor King the most. So and his whiff punishing him is kind of nasty. So let's start with that. So I'm always coming from like you know music and all these other things. I try to start as small as possible, like a repetitive task that you can do that challenges you, like maybe like 80 percent effort, 70 to 80 percent effort level. The hard number doesn't really matter, it's just the idea is you're working hard enough that you're learning, but not so hard that you're overwhelmed, right? right? So one big Armor King move, as I'm sure you know, is if you're coming into him, he'll do like a back one, right? Mm -hmm. Right, so if you go in, you'll get counter hit. So what I, what I want to see is kind of you're moving around, you see him do it, and then you try to whip punch it. So I'm recording the Armor King doing two back dashes, so we can kind of like have that match flow, you know, chilling out. And you want to get it so that it shows, you know, punish in the left side, that kind of thing. So you know you right. got the whiff punish. Right? And then this is how you'll kind of play your game. So you'll want to basically backdash, move in and out, threaten some range, and then you want to be able to land the electric. And you'll see that I'll mess it up too. <laughs> so that's one way to practice it. Uh, know what move you're looking for. And then other people will show different moves, right? So you'll be in rank, somebody might do this, or like, they'll go like, um, 
this in the open, right? So like, I'm looking for that too. Oh my god, that goes so far. Um. So yeah, one of the other things I think about with, uh, you know, is like even with with Armor King, like a matchup I know really well. Like there are moves, like for example, he has some launch punishment moves, like uh, his shoulder charge. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I can't remember what it is. Um, and I know to launch punish it. Yeah, that one. I know to launch punish it, uh, but I don't see it often enough. And then I find like when it, like the rare occasion that uh, like the person I'm playing against will will throw it out and it'll get blocked. Mm -hmm. I I just like I don't have the muscle memory to respond. And I don't yeah. know. If that's, I think that's probably just like an issue of drilling it. Yep. So know? how I like but to in drill those. Mode, it's like super easy. Yeah. So how I like to drill those specifically is I'll be doing something else. So for example, let's go back to this whiff punishment training. Two back dashes, back one. Okay. So, say you're doing this, you start with just this drill, keep it like as simple as possible. Can I do this enough times, right? Okay, I gotta turn off free counter hit. I'm gonna think I'm doing it. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna be practicing that. And then, I'll put in like a small challenge. Like while this is, while I'm doing this drill, maybe he does shoulder, right? So I'll be moving around, and then I'll practice punishing that too while I'm doing my other drill. So it's Something like, oh, okay, I've mastered this drill, I'm building like proficiency, and then in addition to that, I'm gonna be looking for this side option. So I do this a lot with like Fang shoulder. Mm -hmm. So like, um, I don't know if you fought against Fang, but yeah. um, so one of the drills I do is kind of looking for his lows, or practice like launch punishment on his lows. So, well, let, let's, yeah, let's say, like, I'll do this low, and I'll do this low. And, uh, uh how I'll actually do it is, like, forward dash, forward dash this, and then forward dash, forward dash, down two, okay? And then in between that, I'll just have a random shoulder come out. So, while I'm drilling the low reactions, if a shoulder comes out, I can practice punishing it. There I was late, right? So I think what's also really important is I'm not going to do it right away. I'm going to do just the low drill. And then when the low drill is looking really good, like my success rate is really high, then I'll add this. Got it. Yeah, so I guess like, you know, goal, objective for me then is like make my my, my practice sessions more effective, more efficient. Because mm -hmm. like if I do, uh, the, for example, like punch my training, you know, like I, I can punish everything like perfectly because I know. But it's a little bit different when I'm not expecting it. Yeah, so so the way you, that's that's my way of drilling like the I wasn't expecting it is I'm doing another drill and I throw in that single launch punishable move that I know I need to look out for that I need to build the muscle memory for. Right. Um makes sense. And every character kind of has one like you know the whether it's the launch punishable shoulder or it's like a snake edge. So like I've been eating snake edges for years even though I play in tournament shits, right? <laughs> so like if I'm playing against Katarina in the practice mode, I'll do something like um I want to practice uh, seeing the difference between down forward 1-1 one, one Harrier and launching that. And I want to see the difference between that and back 1-1, one, one, right? Because these are different. And then I'll have her do this too. Back 1 forward. And then in between that, I'll have a random this, right? So I'll be doing the drill, doing what I need to do. I want to duck. See, I ducked and I shouldn't have ducked there. So that's why it's also important to master the drill first. Right. Rather than, like, throw all of the... Uh all the options in it. Yeah, exactly. Effort. Then you're just not learning because you're just doing too much. Uh, so that's one. And then, yeah. And then, oh, I'm surprised. And you'll get hit by it a few times. It'll be annoying, and that's kind of good. Mm -hmm. um, that's how I drill that for the single launch punish moves. Yeah, um, makes sense. But yeah, so your goal is to backdash with punish. It'll either be with electric, or it can be, depending how close you are, like if you can do a single double backdash, might be hop kick. Even this is fine. If you're whiff punishing with this, that's cool. Mm -hmm. This is fine. The idea is just get a whiff punish. doesn't have to be a launch. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can usually get like something simple, like back to one or four, four, uh, four point two. Yeah. Uh, but you know, like in a lot of cases, like I could get, I could get an electric, I could get a hot pick, I mm -hmm. could get camp camp or something like that. So take it to the practice mode so that you're used to doing electrics out of back dash, right? And dash electrics work well too. You don't have to wave dash into it or anything. Just right. two back dashes, dash electric, that kind of thing. And then, um, that will honestly get you very far. Like you will do really well with that. 
And when you don't, when it doesn't work, that'll be due to either defensive, a lack of defensive awareness, which you're developing by getting hit by it, right? Mm -hmm. So while you're looking for all this, you'll be watching your opponent and seeing what moves they're doing. And if they're still getting in on you and hitting you, you'll have more information about what kit, what their kit is like, how they're hitting you, how they're beating backdash. And if you can't find a whiff, then your other options are um, you are backdashing still, you find a keep out like magic four, keep out forward four, right? And then if they're doing nothing like I was, you get in range zero, start doing this 2-1 stuff that you were doing. You know, you have this low, you have this low, you have this threat ultimately, right? And then it's also fine to just spam electric and see what it takes for them to start acting. Are they going to start ducking? Are they going to start trying to step it? Are they going to are they gonna try to interrupt? Those are kinds of ways you can start to approach it. But that will come if people are turtling, which as you said, people aren't really doing, right? At, yeah, um, I mean, often, often what I see online is, you know, you get a lot of people, especially like in the rank that I'm at, mm -hmm. where people are just like throwing strings out, like they're coming in super aggressively. Yeah. And I think like I need to play more defensively, I guess more defensively in a in a more effective way. Yeah. Uh, so so you know, it will be go ahead, go ahead. kind of at first it'll be like I'm just backdashing with no point, but you want your eyes to be on your opponent and you want to build the muscle of doing this when something misses. Then if you keep getting rushed down. Um, because again, it's not about applying your offense in between their strings, it's about making them whiff. So literally, you should not get counter hit unless you messed up like a whiff punish and they did another move, right? right. Um, and then again, some supplemental things so that it's not straight brain dead, is the standing four, forward four, um, what else you got? Some low pokes uh, here. Like keep out? Yeah, keep out this and this are kind of the big one, and then electric as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but getting around this is already pretty hard for a lot of characters, so... Right. Um, yeah, that's kind of my initial plan. Uh, yeah, again, before ranked, warm up your electrics. Warm up... Uh, backdash electric. Backdash yeah, I think electric. I need to start drilling Korean backdash as well. I mean, on a hitbox, that's like kind of trivially easily. Easy yeah. Because you have the SOCD. So the action is trivial. What needs to be built is that fluidity. So it's like I can do right. two, yeah, I can do definitely. electric. Two into electric. Two, three into electric. I can do one electric, right? That's, that's the kind of thing we want. Yeah, and I think knowing... I think knowing when to apply it as well, because like there is some risk inherent in, in a KVDC because you're, you know, you've got the... Like you can get hit out of it, right? Yeah, so I'm trying to do one frame back dash as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And truthfully, the people you play against are probably not looking for that down back in the back dash. Right. Like the only situations where it's kind of nasty is, as you know, if Jin does this and you try to KBD, you'll get eaten. Yeah. Um, Claudio's rage drive is another example. So there's those small situations, but more often than not, do it. Like do it and get really clean at it. And then you can learn to stop it later. Yeah, I guess like, you know, I guess my question then for that is, is where do you where do you most often want to use it? Um, because I feel like sometimes I'll remember it and try and apply it in a match, but I'll try and do it when I'm like range zero or something, and then I'll just get hit. Yeah. Uh, so so what I'm challenging you to you to do as we develop is you're gonna just do it. You're gonna literally only do it, and okay. you will start to see where it works, where it doesn't work. You may be like, oh, that was fine to do, but I was a bit too slow. You know? Yeah. Those are all details that you will start to work out as you do it so that's that's part of the reason why the like ranked prescription because you're at a rank where this will work that's what i'm going to tell you like only do it mm -hmm. and you will lose games you will like probably drop rank and things like that but um the because you're looking for like skill, de skill development it'll ultimately be worth it yeah yeah i mean rank is whatever like i don't, I don't care. that's good you know, like, it's much more important to me to actually be developing my skills and, and kind of progress it in a meaningful way yeah that's that's a perfect take so um, I don't know his fucking combo off that, <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah. So that's what we're gonna work on first. It's gonna be that primarily, um, and um, it, in addition to that, so you're yeah backdash with punish by default. Um, refine punishes constantly. Mm -hmm. uh, block punishes, I should say. Yeah. And then um, refine block punish punishes constantly, and then uh, KBDC. Oh, uh, let's see. That was we got that in warm up section already. Yeah, and then uh, keep out options, forward four, magic four, electric. Um, if they're turtling, you get um two one four to well two one four is more of controlling them. Like if they're doing a lot of fast pokes and things like that, two one four 
two one and two one four control their fast pokes. Yeah, um, he used throws a decent amount. At least his one plus two and two. Mm -hmm. Throw game is fine. Uh, I need to practice his one throw. Four four three and hell sweep. And then down back four, down four, down forward one, forward four. You know all these moves. This is all good. Two one. Yeah, so that's kind of how we'll approach it, I think. Um, yeah, let's hop back into some more games um, and try that out. And I'll try to play like a red rank. <laughs> <laughs> um, I made a lobby again. It doesn't have a title this time, but see if you can find it. And so just to just to reiterate then for this I'll be focusing on like backdash with punish, use of KBDC, keep out. Basically we just covered. Yeah. And the keep out yeah. is even last. Like you keep out if they're like really rushing in with strings and a whiff punish isn't happening. So you just have to do that to counter hit them. Right. Like the last second thing. to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. <laughs> Armor King. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle. Kind of interesting rank to play at because I feel like there's Round still one. you still get a lot of the unga bunga from lower Fight. ranks, but at the other time, you know, you see, you see, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> you, see uh, you see people, you see people like kind of developing their their combos. Yes, the combos will be there for sure, but as you can see, like somebody will play like me and be like, yeah, I'm chilling. <laughs> Good idea. Good try. KO. Round two. Fight. Yes. And that's basically how you're gonna play against it. And obviously people aren't gonna be as brain dead as I am, but like that's basically what you want to be doing. Can, uh, two for that if it if it's in range. Nice. There we go. Shit. Round three. Fight. That goes so far. Mm -hmm. It's a two on four. Yeah, grab breaks are another thing that I'm sort of constantly working on. Mm -hmm. There you go. Good try. Like, you know, it happens. <laughs> Big punch is happening. Yeah, that's I'm not punishing that optimally either. Mm-hmm. Good try, yep. 
You'll get better at it as time goes on. Oh. Okay. oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the combo I I uh, I flub I frequently. Fight. I think the back. I don't know if backboard can be can be buffered. That's that's the part that seems to that I have the most trouble with. Uh, you can. You might be getting no neutral because you're on hitbox. Yeah. And if you skip the neutral, then it doesn't work. I don't think, or it's like weird. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, basically that's what it's gonna be like, and you're gonna want to just continue to clean up the electric, and so that it uh, it comes out more consistently. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we'll keep playing, and then I think if you come back for another session, uh, it would uh, probably be best as a spectate ranked or as a vod review of those ranked matches. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I was. I figured like. I would take this home, you know, work on it a while, and then like in a month or two, yeah. book another session. Perfect. So yeah, the idea uh, my is... My wife was the one who sent you a message and who got me some credit on um, Metaphy. Metaphy. Oh, uh, yeah. So thanks for thanks for explaining stuff. Oh, here. fantastic, fantastic. Appreciate yeah, that was that was a really sweet message I got, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was back around Christmas. Yeah, so um, yeah, my, my recommendation is this is what we'll put you on, and then you will refine defense passively alongside it. Well, not really passively. It's going to be active work. But the side effect is you will build good defense. And then once that's all good, your offense will come last and it'll be really well informed by kind of these weaknesses that you have learned to exploit, right? And once you've informed that, your offense will naturally be way better. Right. And I would not worry about sidestepping until very late or unless it's like a defense specific option for like a string. In neutral, you don't need to do it unless you're getting off the wall. Yeah. It usually will just end up getting you killed more often than not. Yeah, which is yeah, certainly true. Round two. It just did. I think I got I think I took a launch off of it. Bro, it's a bane of my existence. Not wait out that string. <laughs> Do you know about the tech roll for that? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I have trouble getting it consistently. How are you doing um, it? I will pretty I pretty much mash one when I'm when I'm in the air. I take my I, left I hand off the stick recently. and I hit one and three with both hands. <laughs> so why one and three? Both Just are tech roll inputs. Both are the. Oh okay. One gives you yeah. tech roll to the uh, background. Three gives you tech roll to the foreground. But does that does that works for teching a giant string? Yes. I okay. spam both. Give me one second That's to use the restroom. Yeah, no problem.
Round one. Fight. Yeah, yeah, Time up. Round two. Fight. Time up. Yes. Final round. Fight. Time up. You win.
Hello, sorry about that. I'm back. Hey, no problem at all. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Yeah, I feel like I need to be extra disciplined when I'm working on something to to actually stick to it the whole game. It's really easy to, you know, kind of fall back into if not autopilot then then sort of like you know your normal game plan or tendencies yeah no and it's good that you're aware of that because that makes a big difference already yeah i feel like tekken has actually been my window into sports psychology in a funny way like through your videos and like a few other people's as well which is which is pretty cool because it's not something i've explored elsewhere in my life yeah totally no i completely feel it round one fight <laughs> Oops. Yep, remember the default. Electric. Stick to the default. Got down four two. Yeah. yeah. Fight. Yes, sir. You might have to down forward one punish this, yeah. 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 There it is. I think another, you know, bad but, habit of mine is, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 I was asking, what were you saying? Yeah, uh, is, like, if there's a, if, if I'm in the middle of a string, like, the opponent's in the middle of a string, uh -huh. uh, trying to punish it prematurely when the string has an ex extension. Yeah, yeah. So, playing the whiff punish game, your attention will be on the whiffing hitboxes, so that should help you determine also how you want to or like you'll you'll start to pick up on that for each string because your attention is directly on that right Yeah, this is one you want to look to whiff punish two for sure. Right. And it's again, it's okay if you're late and you're doing back two one or something. It doesn't have to be electric. KO. Final round. Fight. Ooh, there we go. Nice. 
Yeah, one, you know, it occurs to me one thing that is hard for me about whiff punishment is actually creating that that distance. And I guess that's where KBDC comes in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, because, like, if, if, you know, someone's up in my face, I sometimes it's like it's hard to get away. It's like hard to hard to create that space between between you. Yep. To and... even make the whiff, which I yeah, I guess is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're picking up on it. So that's that's like the, the whole point, point is. Yeah. yeah. And then furthermore, um, if you are Korean backdashing and people are using like hard committing to going in on you, like like say a Mishima's wave dashing into you, <laughs> that's when we look for the uh, magic four and forward four as like keep out because they are so willing to not block. They're closing the space and doing the hitbox. That's a place for keep out and counter hits. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I usually think of keep out as as like we're we're at range two or something like that. And I'm trying to get prevent them from coming in. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that makes sense. So you mean like if somebody if like you know, like Amisha is up like wave dashing in my face or something? Right, right. Like that would be a place for keep out because like you can't really back dash out of this, you know? <laughs> right. Um, I mean, you should, but it's really hard. So you don't have to commit to dying for it, right? Like, you could just yeah. do a small thing. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you want to step Kazuya in the other direction, right? No, you did it correctly. I just uh, realigned oh, okay. with the dash. Right. That hook fist, the, the mid, is launch punishable. Uh, which one? I'll do it again. Oh, the down forward two? No, oh, the wall, oh, wall standing. Launch it looks similar. So this is down forward two, this is instant right. wall standing two. He makes a different vocal cue. Yeah, so oh, this, one, this one's launch. Yep, perfect. That? That's a good thing to lab on Kazuya specifically, is the difference yeah. between those visually and then nailing the punish each time. Because both are kind of key yeah. moves. I this do, move is I think I knew it was launch punchable, or I'd heard that it was launch punchable, but I didn't realize how similar it looked to yeah. while saying too. It looks so similar. Oh, that's a counter hit. So there's your keep out example, right? So that was perfect. <laughs> I, I've, I've gotten hit. Getting the like the, the tech roll. I'm losing the tech roll at mm -hmm. the wall. Oh, a backdash. So that's an example where I did KBD and I got clipped for oh, it. So, okay. so you can uh, kind of like, in your own game, start observing like, oh, okay, if I KBD here, I'm getting clipped. Like, you know, is it yeah. was it a clean KBD? Could I have done it cleaner? Or is it really just a place where you don't want to do it? Yeah, that's like a frame trap of Jin's down back four. Mm -hmm. Four, four. Mm -hmm. 
And as you build up more situations, you'll get more comfortable with like a quote gin game plan. And because the mm -hmm. game plan, it, the game plan is going to be similar, but it's going to be slightly modified because every kit you're dealing with is slightly different, right? Right. So I, in the case of Kazuya, right, like I'm not really giving you whiffs. There are Kazuyas that will, but like in this case, because I'm insisting on wave dashing into you, you're finding the forward fours that are counter hitting me, right? Sometimes it ought to be magic four. You're finding ducks on the electric. These are all really good things. And you want to stay, fl keep that flexibility. That's really good. Oops. I'm, uh, I'm trying to trying to punish prematurely. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Eventually, I'll block one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> I messed up my electric and you pun got punished for it. That's so dumb. <laughs> uh, Should have killed me. You were faster. Round three. Fight. Yeah, I think I think pa like patience is something I feel like I'm always I'm always working on. I think it's okay like, that you're trying to make these wait, reads. Wait. You're just you know you, sometimes you'll just be incorrect and that's fine. You know. Right. Um. And as you play against other people at different levels, you'll get kind of primed for uh, different styles and different things that are working against right. the game plan you're trying to do in this case, which is backdash with punish, right? Right. Um, yeah. So uh, do you have any other questions, uh, I guess, as we're starting to wrap up? No, um, no. I think everything everything we've talked about makes a lot of sense, uh, especially like really using ranked as as like a form of practice mode uh, to kind of refine the skills. So yeah. So the the uh, big benefit of rank that I like is you're just getting you're making people put the bare minimum on the line so they try. I don't know if you ever play like poker or something like that, but if you like make people yeah, play penny poker, it's game. way different than free. You know. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so yeah, same right, thing. Because yeah. in the same way, like, I, it's easy for me to to do, you know, combos, electrics, stuff like that in, in practice mode because, like, the, the nerves aren't there, the stakes aren't there, right? Right, exactly. It's just people play differently. Like, people can might just stop caring and, like, I'm going to hit this funny low, you know, like, it just doesn't <laughs> add. So, yeah. Um, yeah, use ranked as that kind of development and that kind of, like, uh, to test these skills, right? It's really good that you already don't, like, care too much about rank. I have, like, clients all across the spectrum and how much they care about rank. So it'll make it easier. Uh, since you're like not too obsessed with that so yeah yeah you're, i mean you're... you know I, I say i don't care about rank in reality like it's frustrating you know when i'm oh yeah, like yeah, yeah a bunch but like i i uh it's something i work at yeah well some people just don't at all so like yeah. the fact that you're already kind of like okay i know i need to not care about it i'm gonna get annoyed you know you're prepared right more mm -hmm. than people who are just like what do i do i'm demoting it's like well you need to yeah. care a little less right so yeah 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 um so let's see um the soft goal basically is like See if you can get to ruler ranks off this strategy. See if you can get to Fujin off of that. Mm -hmm. um, again, not expecting you to 200% of the games only do backdash with punish, but that's going to be your goal, right? Yeah, okay. If you end up hitting, like, you know, a promotion match, you get nervous, you hit a magic four and kill him, I'm not going to be mad, you know, like, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think you already get an intuitive sense of that. You're, you're, you're doing a good job of looking at what I'm doing, which you would be surprised at how little that actually happens at, like, really upper mid-levels in an A. Like, people just aren't looking. They're just kind of playing yeah. their own game. So you're yeah, kind of looking like for I, what I'm I doing. Kind of have to, you know, with like, because you know, like my friend and I are so deep into the nth dimensional chess mm -hmm, mind mm -hmm. game. Like I have to, I have to be like, oh, this week he's figured out the setup that I was using last week. I need right. to come up with a response to that. Right. And as you play your friend, uh, put a high emphasis on cleanliness. Mm -hmm. So, so heavy emphasis on landing your punishes, landing your whiff punishes, um, finding your counter hits. All of those can be really clean. Um, yeah, and I think not whiffing too in my case, uh, because like he, like he, his whiff punishment is much much better than mine. Right, so right. A lot of mileage out of that. 
So I briefly mentioned it, but again, as a side effect of you prioritizing backdash whiff punish as your strategy, you aren't doing moves that'll whiff because you're not doing moves, right? So, <laughs> so that's kind of the, yeah, the dual benefit there. Got it. But yeah, I had a great time this session. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, I'm always yeah, available. I appreciate your time. Yeah, I'm always available by DM. So if at any point you're like, hey, I'm trying this, it's not working, like talk to me about this. Or like, how does this work? Like, what do I do here? Um, all of okay. that is um, available at any time. So feel free to DM me. And then all right. secondly, if you're not already in my Discord, uh, we have the frame data bot and that makes things way easier to look things up. Oh, and, that's cool. Yeah, so you can scroll up and see the syntax, but I'm still using that in the middle of my, like between round, between games. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah is, that, uh, is that just like an open source project that somebody made? Yeah, somebody just made like a Discord bot for it. So um, a lot of people have it. It's in like Tekken Saibatsu, but I make it available in mine so people can look up. And Yeah, that's cool. You... I might, might use that in some of the servers I'm part of. Yeah. So yeah, um, cheers. And I had a great time. I'll toss you an invite in case you're not there. Um, Sounds great. Thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I had a great session and looking forward to next time. Yeah, uh, next time either VOD review or um, Spectate Ranked, I think both will be the most beneficial so I can gauge the skill and how you're working on it and how that's going. I think that'll be probably ideal. Yeah, that sounds ideal. good. So I'll just, I'll just send you a DM, you know, in, in a while, and then we can kind of talk through, like, what, what, what do you think would be most effective, like, kind of based on, I guess, where I'm at. Uh, exactly, exactly. Great. Perfect. Thank Cheers. you very much. Yep. Have a good rest of your night. Yeah, you too, man. Thanks. Yep.